proud to that short commercial break. I told you that we're going to have a conversation about how to feel and live younger after 40 years. They say life begins at 40. And so for everybody after 40 years, follow the conversation with me this morning as I speak to a CEO for American Rejuvenation Clinic, Tyron Jamal, and Anape Menino AD and Komo. The conversation would be in the English language, but Tyron, we are the Anape to Rebecca Trikakra, and to Trina and Huntia, I was always in it. So we were having a conversation about your health, uh, you know, living a healthy life and the ways to, you know, achieve that, the tricks in there that you need to pick up this morning as I speak to Tyron. Tyron, good morning. Good morning. Now, it is saying? Aye. Uh, Aye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh -huh, spoke in one, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, let's talk a bit about your outfit, your entity, before now we zoom in into the profile conversation. So tell us a bit about you know, the American Rejuvenation Clinic. What do you do? Um, at American Rejuvenation Clinic, we are a preventative medicine uh, clinic. Um, so that means that we try to prevent people from developing chronic illnesses. Mm. Also, uh, we are into anti-aging and hormonal replacement therapy, as well as other general um, health care um, things for men and also women. Okay. So um, wh when you speak about specialty, wh wh what do you mean by that? Um, our our specialty is we are uh, we have specialists in house okay. which are uh, GU uh, you know urologists uh, gynecologists uh, so we our specialty is our um, our niche is into the sexual health and also the anti aging aspect that's our strength of our clinic. All right now I know for most of us here we only go to the clinic when we feel sick or our bodies are telling us, no, something is not right somewhere. And so the thing would have happened before we go to the clinic. If it's malaria, I would have the malaria before I go to the clinic because I would have seen the signs and symptoms before I go to the clinic. But you spoke about preventative health care. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Well, a lot of times, uh, sometimes we don't always see the signs and symptoms. Um, Sometimes you can check blood work. There's certain things like uh, your PSA, your prostate health, checking laboratory values such as cholesterol, uh, blood sugars. These things, if caught early, can, uh, if controlled early, can uh, stop the cause of a chronic disease like diabetes or prostate cancer. All right, so um, the more interesting part of the conversation, you know, a lot of people are afraid of aging and you see some people 30 years 28 and the stress of life makes them look like 50 60 years so let's talk a bit about anti-aging and you know what we ought to do to keep ourselves looking younger and you know always looking refreshed what goes into it this whole anti-aging conversation well there's lots of things that we can do um, from the natural aspect, such as get sleep. Mm. Uh, you know, the stress you just spoke on is an important factor. Mm. So reducing our stress, maybe we act, add uh, leisure activities or some free time. Um, also water intake, diet and exercise are huge things that can help us uh, preserve our life and also live a quality of life for a longer period of time. Um, from the medical side, you do have, as we age, we have our hormones that play a huge factor into symptoms of aging, mm. uh, which I know we've heard of these, these terms of menopause and um, andropause. Mm. Um, so there's, there's a medical aspect as well. But uh, we always have our laboratory values, our cholesterol, and these, these hormone levels that we can check at, um, at, you know, at a clinic or a laboratory uh, uh, scientist place. All right, now, the exercise you spoke about, and I'll use myself as an example, and I know a lot of people will fall within my category, where, you know, we have a very monotonous lifestyle because of our kind of work that we do. So I'm here at 5.30, and so I should be up, let's say, around 3.30, 4 a.m. there about to drive and get here. And I'll spend my entire day here because by the time I'm leaving here, let's say around 2.33 p.m. there about, I'll get to the house 
and it's already 5 p.m. or almost 6 because of the traffic situation, how do I get to exercise when I have this lifestyle? Um, one thing I tend to do, because a lot of times I do spend time in the office, uh, you can get up and walk around your own environment. You can walk around your, your, you know, your lunch break or, or if you have free time, you can walk around uh, the facility or wherever you work at, maybe walk down in, uh, the block. Uh, but those are things that you can, you can do uh, exercise-wise. Well, the, the, I, I think that, that there is a bit of you know, misconception when it comes to what people consider as exercise. Mm -hmm. Because here you are as a professional telling me that you know, exercise also means that you get up from your desk and you walk around your building for a bit before you come and sit again. But mentality people have about exercise is going to the gym, you know, lifting a few weights here and there, uh, you know, running and all of that. Do we really understand what exercising is? Yeah, I think there, what, what you said is correct. There is a misconception on exercise. Uh, some people confuse it for bodybuilding or whatever activities, CrossFit, but really it doesn't have to be heavy. Mm. Um, we can do simple things just to keep our bodies active. You don't have to jog, you can walk. Uh, you don't have to lift weights, you can do aerobics. You can, there's multiple different ways to, mm -hmm. um, to achieve uh, a goal of a, really it's all about your heart. Mm -hmm. You're trying to exercise your heart, pump some blood. So anything we can do to get our heart beat um, elevated, strengthen our heart. Earlier when you were speaking, you spoke about andropause and you made mention of menopause. As for menopause, you know, we have had it and had it and had it, but what, what is andropause? Um, well, andropause, uh, men go through a similar condition as menopause, which is called andropause, mm. and um, where the hormone levels fluctuate. So the female system is ran off of predominantly estrogen, and they do also have testosterone, but it's, it's a, at a lower rate. Mm. Um, for males, it tends to be our testosterone drops down very low. Our bodies are ran off of testosterone as the male hormone, mm. but during andropause, our, our, our levels start to decline, and sometimes the estrogen levels start to uh, increase. So uh, those, it comes with a whole list of uh, symptoms, uh, such as erectile dysfunction, low energy, low metabolism, um, uh, memory issues, um, also uh, weight gain. It's a lot of different issues that come with that. But at, at what age does it set in? Uh, each individual is different, but mm. usually the average age is around 40 to start looking for signs of uh, low testosterone. 40 years? Yes, 40 years. Wow. And then menopause starts when? Around the same time. Around the men. same time. 40 years a woman yes. could have menopause at 40? Yes, she can. <laughs> wow. Is I thought it, it was around, let's no, say, 60 years there. That's 40 is when, the, when I say menopause, uh, there's symptoms where you start to fit into the category where your hormone, with menopause, your hormone levels start to, start to uh, how should I put it? You emit less hormones. Mm. So a woman starts from 40 years going once she she can reach full menopause at a different level so maybe 50 she can reach full menopausal state where mm -hmm. her you know she's no longer having menstrual cycles she's everything's uh, her hormones are no longer active um, but that's treatable now it's treatable it's the symptoms are treatable I should say <laughs> okay. all right now uh, let's go back to the main issue because uh, you just kicked me a little bit there. I, I thought, <laughs> you know, it was going to be around like the 60s and all, but 40, we all need to look out. So if someone is forgetful, you know, there's a bit of memory issues, you know, he puts the pen here, he can't, you know, remember, this is why I left the pen, you know. Are, are those signs to look out for? They can. Or they are they, natural. It happens. They can be, but we all have, and I think even me, myself, a, a lot of people, we have uh, issues re remembering. But the thing is, uh, there's such thing as short-term memory loss. There's, there's a lot more advanced forms of that mm. where, you know, everything is like you forget everything, <laughs> you know. You, but every, it's, it's normal for us to forget at times. Mm. 
where do we put our keys? You know, yeah, <laughs> that's a common yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Where do we put our keys at? Or oh, did I turn the light off? I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so that's normal. But there's certain things that you'll start to realize. Hey, it's starting to get worse, and um, and then it's not always that it's hormones that are causing it, but it's one of the symptoms. Because I, I had to ask because you know sometimes I'm a bit forgetful. I'm like, hey, am I getting under post now? <laughs> and so I had to ask, but. Let's talk about, you know, the treatment you mentioned for the symptoms. Mm -hmm. Now, how does that happen? Well, uh, for those who are suffering from, um, I would say, chronic um, issues, which that would be a certain, there's a range of where your hormones are. Mm. Um, that's why I say it starts at 40 to decline. But it, you know, it can, it ranges. So we doesn't, we don't treat it until it gets to a chronic state. So once it gets to a chronic state, then we can do hormonal replacement therapy, which uh, we can boost the hormone levels up, you know, but first there has to be a comprehensive assessment done to make sure what exactly is causing the decline in hormone production. Mm. Now to the all important issue about what should trigger somebody to come to you for these examinations? At what point do I decide that, no, I need to go see Tyrone and the team? Um, well, first of all, they won't be seeing me. Mm. <laughs> they'll well, be seeing our, well, the they, team. Yeah, they'll be seeing the team, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, some of the symptoms or some of the things that, that um, you may have to look out for, um, if you are replacing for your natural performance, such as uh, men's sexual performance, okay. if you have to take a pill or you have to pop pills every time, you know, to perform, then maybe, you know, you want to look at the root cause of what's causing that rather than taking the medication to, uh, to always perform in the bedroom. Um, another thing would be very low energy if you notice that you struggle to get out of bed every morning, it's just a struggle. Mm. All of a sudden, you're putting on weight out of nowhere. Uh, these are all signs um, that you should come and get yourself checked out. Now, I know people would ask the question, is it expensive, you know, coming for, you know, all these processes and procedures and consultations and all? Is it expensive? No, even though we're, our office is located in East Lagan, so it scares people sometimes. Yeah. But uh, our prices are very affordable, to be mm. honest. Um, just for a screening, I think, I mean, for a um, consultation is only uh, 200, 200 CDs or something, okay. 250 CDs, I may believe. Okay. But it's, it's, it's pretty affordable. Okay. All right. Now, for I, I just had somebody send me a question that... Uh, are there natural ways, you know, to uh, avoid this old aging thing? Are, are there? Yes. Um, there's, I can't, you can't always be certain, but there are ways to, to um, kind of push it away, um, which are what we talked about earlier, the mm. extra, staying active, that plays a huge role into your hormone production. Mm. Sleep is a major one. People who don't get enough sleep, you know, at least six hours of sleep a day. Um, that's a huge, also another hit onto your hormone system. Drinking water, taking the necessary nutrients. A lot of us don't eat our vegetables, so if you're not eating vegetables or fruits, then you need to be taking some type of vitamin mm. supplement. Um, so just a healthy lifestyle in general can, can um, help us prevent some of these things from happening. All right, quickly, uh, a texter just sent me one. And uh, he says, Sami, I'm enjoying the conversation with your guest. He mentioned Islegon. Can you ask him to tell us where specifically, and if there is a number, I uh, would have to use to contact them. I'd be grateful. So people want to know about where you are, and uh, if there is email, website, or social mm -hmm. media presence, anything like that. Yes. Uh, we. We have, the location is actually 64 Garden Street, mm. and that's um, in East Lagoon. Uh, opposite 
um, Agape House, just about 500 uh, kilometers from ANC Mall, in All between right. Malcolm and ANC Mall. Okay. Um, we have a website, www.americanrejuvenationclinic.com. Okay. Uh, you can type it in Google. We have several numbers on, on listed on Google. You can even access the Google Maps. It'll take you right to the location. All right, but how about social media presence? Yes, we have Instagram, American Rejuvenation Clinic on Instagram, Facebook, also LinkedIn. All right, so in ending our conversation, what would be your final words to anybody who is listening or viewing us this morning? I would just say to everybody to please, uh, you know, let's, let's take our health care serious. And uh, especially with this, you see the prostate and COVID, I mean, prostate cancer is taking a lot of people out mm. early. COVID going on right now. So let's take our health care serious and screen ourselves properly. Don't wait until three, four years after you're feeling symptoms, something's hurting you or you feel weak. Come and just get some laboratory work done. Check yourself out thoroughly every year, especially after 40. I'm grateful you made time to join me this morning, Tyler.